I've seen today, and you just attack it. Should the joke be on the person or the person that's hearing it? When you have one like this, you want to edit until you're 110. We watched the editor's cut, and we're like, wow, this is going to be a good movie. It's like if you're going to go for it, you have to go for it all the way. Sleepy. Mm, something smells amazing. It's warm cranberry buttermilk scones. Mm. And I like this clip because this is a situation where the director shot like so much footage for the scene, like like three times as much as uh, you would think. And just like they thought the first, the scene will start out in steady in like tripod shots, so they would shoot the whole scene through that, and then it would move into handheld shots, and Are you sure? it just. It's okay. Endless amounts of footage. Oh, ew, ew. Oh, oh my God! Your legs are stuck. Ew. And I just said, I, I can't deal with this today. <laughs> I'm going to cut this another day. You know, you always get a scene where you go, I'll, I'll do that when I'm done everything else. <laughs> so I put this off, and then one, then one day you come in and you just like feel inspired, or you're just like feel I can, I'm in the zone for that scene today, and you just attack it. And and this was you know, pretty much the first version of the scene, and uh, it just kind of stayed the way it was. It made people laugh. <laughs> Usually when we put together scenes, they're pretty close. They could be, you know, the editor's cut could be aired or screened, but they're usually very long because it has everything that was in the script. So you're doing a lot of condensing. So you're finding ways to shorten scenes or, you know, what things that don't work, but you've put the, together anyway because they're in the script and you lift that out. So things get smaller, but sections uh, of scenes usually remain the same, or you know, in a case where it's a short scene, it may not change. Uh, you know, a lot of times the directors come in, uh, on a TV show, the directors really just come in, shoot the show, they have a couple of days to work with us, and they really have no say in the, in the final version of the show. So, Sometimes I'd have directors come in who weren't really familiar with the show at all, but you know they had a, a nice style of shooting that the producers liked, uh, and they'd want to cut out some lines possibly that, that oh we don't need that that's you know it's slowing down the scene. But I, I would know that you know that, that was the most important line in the scene because it had been set up through the series and it was going to pay off in an, another episode. So you know you know you do what the director says or you try and explain to them that that's not going to really happen, but. Uh, you know, and then the producer will come in and, you know, want to recut the show or put it back or want to see the editor's cut and see what you had done before the director ch changed it. At that moment, Charlotte realized her masculine side wasn't evolved enough for a man whose feminine side was as highly evolved as Stefan's. Sometimes you just uh, have to let the footage sink in. You can't always just deal with it right when you see it for the first time. You need to, like, let it uh, digest before you know what to do with it.